Hello, and this is uh, Cardinal Samantha Kennedy, and my message today is for the rabbis and the leaders of this world. A while ago, the Lord gave a message to you rabbis. He granted you mercy to restore the covenant that you have did any of you comply? No, you did not. Yet many of you will still go on about the Messiah coming, that he's due, that he should have been here. Recently, a rabbi, I was watching his uh, video on YouTube, and he was stating that every one of you, he, reading those scriptures and other books, that prophesy about the Mashiach and you know about the 72 years from the start of the, the uh, second Gog and Magog which led to you to 2011 you are fully aware that in 2011 there was a very profound event this happened over the Holy Temple you know this your government knows this otherwise why would they hide and remove frames from the weather camera many of you have been told and informed that he is here by the saints we went round to every single one of you in Israel all of you knew I had a vision whilst I was there and it was just after the final rabbi had been contacted and this vision was a hand coming out out of nowhere and scribing Hebrew type letters onto a wall and I saw it now I asked my fellow brother about this and what it could be and he said about prophet Daniel and what he saw and he showed me a picture of this writing with the hand and it was exactly the same now that should reach you inside your core as to the significance of this vision I saw you class yourselves as moral highly moral yet as our Lord said how on earth can we call you moral you're still clinging on to the crimes of your ancestors by not coming forward and doing the, the decent thing you know what I think really deep down that I mean it's not to do with stubbornness that's like I thought you were no you're, you're not stubborn you're a bunch of cowards because you're thinking oh I can't stand forward and make myself known in front of all my peers and say Lord Rael is the Messiah you have no guts you have no courage you have no honor you're supposed to lead your people you're supposed to let them know that the Mashiach is here and who he is any of the Jews now listening to what I'm saying you need to go to your rabbi and say why did you not tell us that Lord Rael was indeed the Hamashiach the one that you have been waiting for but don't you not realize why he has not shown himself yet because you have not repented you have not accepted for your own stupidity and cowardice and you wonder why he's considered being late in arriving in Israel he has given you so much mercy you can see your enemies surrounding Israel you know it you can see it every day but you do nothing to rectify a wrong how very sad for you because what is coming will see many of you gone many of you taken 
like cattle into bondage by your enemies. And you will do the usual crying out to God saying, Woe, woe is us, we need the Mahabashiach to save us. Like you normally do. You could have done the, the right thing. You could have accepted a long time ago when the saints came into Israel, established the temple of Hamashiach, who came to you with glad tidings and a message to say, allow us to bring him in, accept and go through the process of accepting your king. And there would have been peace restored there and then. But you chose, you chose knowing the saints were there to refuse to turn your back. Now, I'm talking to the Jews, every single Jew. Your rabbis are lying to you. They know the truth, but they haven't got something between their legs. They're cowards. They're waiting for someone else to do it. But through their lack in action, they are causing this strife that you are seeing every day. They're going to be causing the blood to be spilled. So when you wind up invaded by your enemies and your women raped, yes, your women raped and your children hurt and you moved along like cattle, taken out of Israel, just remember who is responsible that could have changed this for the better and that is the rabbis they have a lot on their plate I feel sorry for the IDF because I have already seen in a vision what is going to happen to them and they are very very brave souls but their blood shall be spilled and it will be on the heads of the rabbis who have refused their messiah Hamashiach Lord Royal is the only one that has come forward that has the Torah codes de specifically stating umpteen times that he is the Messiah thy Shalor King of Kings and the others are the only ones that state that they are false which is stated in the Torah in these codes Lord Royal is the only one from the right lineage the royal line of David and Jess yet you still refuse you play ignorant you try to toss around certain things in order to try to cover up what you're doing your guilt your crime it is bad enough your ancestors were extremely rude to the Holy Mother what you wrote in your Talmud is despicable for people that are classed as supposed to be holy men for people that are supposed to be from an act like the priesthood of Levi you are disrespecting that position no wonder the Mashiach was prophesied as coming to the Gentiles so called Gentiles but they're actually not Gentiles they're actually from the lost tribes of Israel and actually have more right to that land than you do because if the truth be spoken you are not the real Jews there is a such a thing saying actions speak louder than words and your actions are very little because you've done nothing to accept no good standing at the western wall praying and saying we repent uh, but you're not doing it properly you're not doing the correct procedure to accept your king or you'll be crying out you'll be crying out big time and you'll the, the, the thing is you have very very little time left because even Rabbi Fisher stated that you shall see Hamashiach during Purim and the Passover so you haven't got very long have you the prophet Elijah is going to be anointing Hamashiach the Lord will then no longer hide his face and that is saying something to you isn't it it means you better get ready 
and wear your Shabbat clothes. Because the Messiah is coming. And you better get down on your knees and repent and do the right thing if you are a rabbi. Tell the people the truth. For once in your lives, tell them the truth. Before it is too late for you to do so. And the blood is on your hands. As for the leaders of this world, once again, you knew what was happening. You knew the Messiah was here as well. You have a reference to the sun spot whilst you were going to vote on the Palestine-Israel issue of the land. You refer to it as the cocked pistol. That is nothing compared to what is coming. You see, you have forgotten something that Enoch said. If you've ever read or bothered to read the writings of Enoch. Because the son of man having hair as white as wool who shall sit upon the throne and you leaders you kings and queens and presidents and prime ministers etc etc because you have rejected your opportunity to tell your people the messiah is here instead of going through the notions of covering up the truth you will be taken down from your seats of power and replaced thereof with the kings and queens of the new kingdom and you shall suffer for your rejection of the Messiah you shall fear the wrath of he that sit upon the throne just thought I should remind you Again, you have one last opportunity before Purim. Before Messiah physically shows his face to the world and stands before you. Time is about up, but you still have that little bit of granted mercy to do the right thing. But then again, I know you won't because of your arrogance and your ignorance. Because you think everything's going to be still controlled by yourselves, but it's not. Carry on, give your gold, give your silver, give your diamonds, give your whatever you want to try and save your scrawny necks. Why would the Lord want it? All the gold and silver and everything else and precious stones are his anyway. Well, he shall have mountains upon mountains upon mountains of this. Where will you be? He that rejects the Messiah, he shall reject you. This is your last chance. I will say this. Love God, love each other, and glory be to the crowning and anointing of our Messiah, Lord Real. Amen.